Hello everybody, I'm Spawn 171 and welcome back to another Halo Infinite event video. So, Sight Unseen. I honestly literally love it. I really do love it so much. So, I don't know if this is actually going to be a grand final event, but obviously we know um, Season 3 is only going to last it for two more months. It's going to be this month, then next month. So we don't know if it's going to be another sneaky event that they are going to do. But I really hope so we could get like extra more content and just literally grind out some more fucking events just to unlock some cool items and shit. So yeah, all of it is going to be my thoughts. So let's go and start with the fucking event pass. So the event pass is honestly kind of decent. It really is pretty decent. You get a background, a um, <laughs> a crotch protection thing, a visor, a coating, a helmet and a helmet attachment, uh, a stance, two shoulder pads, even though it's kind of a bummer that they are separate, and also a chest piece, but it's only for like shoulders. Kind of, weird, kind of a bit weird, but at the same time look pretty decent. So, obviously the challenges were pretty easy to do, pretty simple. All you need is to get, like, kills with, like, an assault rifle, power rifle. Just literally, basically, any of the weapons that, that is suggested. It's not really that heavy suggested, but obviously some of them are. And, obviously, I've got one event, one um, challenge that I needed to actually do, and it's for, like, a feature playlist. That I had to do, but also the feature players is just beating Battle Escalation Slayer, which is the weekly, um, the fucking weekly thing. But yeah, I had a bit of fun with that. A bit. <laughs> it was a pain in the ass, but still. Also, I managed to get the um, bandit skin that I'm actually using. So, if you're curious how to get this skin, all you have to do is just like get 5,000 points in any PvP mode. So you don't have to do like specific um, stupid shit, but at least you could literally unlock this skin. And it's pretty actually nice skin for a literally weekly. It's not all that crazy, but pretty decent. So yeah, the event pass is pretty decent. I really do like it. You got you got one weird one, and you got some generic ones that are pretty okay, but not that great. The rest of them are just gold mine. They really look decent, and I'm actually equipping about like one or two of them, and they look pretty sick. I really love the event pass. They look pretty cool, and I have fun enjoy grinding it. So let's move on to the story. So the story is finally concluded, and we get to see what is behind the Oni door. So, obviously, this place has a lot more history than everybody expected. So, obviously, this place was built during the, the during the beginning of the Human Covenant War. And, it's obviously, this is a top secret on Section 3 of Oni. So, obviously, Din was part of it, considering he used to be an Oni operative. So, it is understandable why he was actually here in the first place, and he becomes one of the... Um, main few SBI agents for Oni. So, that's actually pretty cool. So, I really do like that. Even though there's really ain't that much to actually see. But, obviously, remember in the um, ending for the previous event, obviously, he doesn't care, obviously, the AI doesn't care about him, but he cares about where he's going. And, obviously, the Academy was the thing that he cares for, that he's actually going. And, oddly enough, Hiratus managed to actually show up and literally hacked every fucking thing in the Oni facility. And now, he's got control of everything, including the Spartan program, and literally becoming the most creepiest fucking moment that I've ever seen in my life. And it looks absolutely amazing. And now, <laughs> it's absolutely awesome that is confirmed we are getting an infection game type coming back to Halo so that's honestly incredible 
just seeing Aratus just literally being inside the SPI armor, even though he's not exactly in it, but obviously it's just a virus that's literally infecting. So that's pretty, pretty sick for the story because it really is progressing so much and there's a lot more to see and serious shit that is happening. I'm very, very excited for Season 4. I'm very excited for Infection to come in so we could literally play that. Because I did play it in Infection in custom games because obviously some people were damn mining in it and I actually played it and it was really pretty fun to actually play. <laughs> so, yeah, it is going to be absolutely insane for Season 4. And I just can't wait to see it and I can't wait to play Infection. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be a lot more fun because Infection is my one of my, one of my few all-time favorite modes I love to play back in the day. So yeah, that's the whole story. And it really was a hundred times better than what Season 2 had to offer because Season 2 was all about talking, about random stuff, sometimes about history, but we need more. We need a lot more of this. Just show and tell at the same time. Just don't literally tell every single time when you've got nothing to show because it obviously has zero point at all. So, yeah, it is honestly pretty incredible. So there's really, honestly, that ain't that much to go on to. But the story, very, very fucking good. Serious shit is breaking down. The event is pretty decent. you got no restrictions whatsoever. You can just play any kind of fucking mode you want to play. You don't need to play the weekly playlist. You don't need to do that shit unless there's one specific challenge that I talked about earlier on that you kind of had to do. But Escalation Slayer is pretty fun. Even with the beating battle version, it could be chaotic. So yeah, all that concludes, I'm honestly going to give it a fucking 10 out of motherfucking 10. It's so goddamn good. I really honestly had zero issues with it. Zero issues. <laughs> so, yeah. Sight Unseen is one of the best. So, this is a grand finale for Season 3. But obviously, Season 3 is going to last for two more months until Season 4 comes up. So, I'm also, re I'm also fucking ready for Season 4. Because I'm just ready now. I'm just literally begging before we ready to just drop it, but obviously patience is due, so obviously we've got to sit down and just let you be patient and just let time fly until season four drops. So yeah. There is gonna be two more of the fracture events, because obviously gonna be a fracture event this month and then next month, and then that's it. That's the whole entire fraction done. So if you haven't completed the fraction event, do it now. While you had the chance when it when when these two months expire, because once they're gone, they're gone. So it's unfortunate. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out a lot. And what do you think about this event? Do you like it? Dislike it? Somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.